Good evening, Wrightsville. Donna Pinckney here with your Thursday evening devotion. On the Thursday evenings in October, we've been talking about generosity and giving. And I've brought a friend along with me several of those weeks. I've done that again tonight. So tonight, I introduce to you Jim Busby. Jim is going to talk a little about why they give to the United Methodist Church and to Wrightsville United Methodist in particular. So ladies and gentlemen, please meet my friend, Jim Busby. Greetings fellow members of Wrightsville Methodist. My name is Jim Busby and today I'm going to be sharing some thoughts on our Vision 2020 mission for this month, which is giving. Now, giving is a very personal thing. I'm certainly in no position to tell you how to give or to whom to give, but I did want to share a few thoughts in terms of how my wife Kathy and I go about making some of our giving decisions. Our first thought is, does the organization have a well-defined goal? Is their expectation to have measurable results? And do they achieve these expectations on a regular basis? Also, a consideration is, does it strike some sort of personal chord with us in terms of some experience that we've had, some interaction we've had with that type of organization. And ideally, does that organization allow us to get personally involved, perhaps, as a volunteer? In terms of the church and our uh, strong feeling about giving to and through the church, it's a very efficient operation. We've been at it for a long time, and it's a well-oiled machine. And it reaches so many worthy recipients that we feel very strongly about that. Also, from a spiritual standpoint, it's simply a great avenue to help us fulfill the mission of Christ. It also operates on both a local and an international basis. A local example being Mother Hubbard's Cupboard, where we buy extra groceries, drop them off for the church. They're in turn taken downtown to the distribution center where they're given to people in need. Uh, I was recently at Harris Teeter where I picked up a sec uh, an extra two-pack of peanut butter. And I drove by the church and dropped it off on the way home. And about 10 minutes after I left, Mickey called and said, D Jim, do you have some spare time this afternoon during which you could take the groceries downtown to the distribution center? And being the man of leisure that I am, I said, sure, I'll come by and do it. We loaded up the Tahoe. I drove down there and got to Red Cross Street to the facility, and it was a beehive of activity. There were shoppers walking out the front door with bags full of groceries. I go inside, incredibly well organized, involving a number of different volunteers who were organizing food, checking people in, and then I drive the Tahoe around to unload it. There's a team of people that are taking out the groceries, storing them in designated areas for future use. And I'm thinking, this is really, really impressive how they address such a fundamental need of providing food to people. They take it to where the people live, so it's a matter of convenience as well. And when I drove away, I'm thinking to myself, this organization deserves my support. Now, shifting gears from local to international, we know that our church has been involved both people-wise and financially with the support of the Rotafunk Mission and the Sierra Leone hospital. Uh, the Methodist Church also has other outreach programs on an international basis, including UMVM, which is the United Methodist Volunteers and Mission. Back in 2003, I had a chance to go on a trip to Costa Rica, where our goal was to help with the expansion of a parsonage at a Methodist Church in the town of Vulcan. We fabricated concrete panels to build walls and then capped that with a corrugated metal roof. So not only did we have the, the fulfillment of being part of a team with our own group of volunteers, but we interacted with a group of local people really on a 24-hour basis, found it to be very fulfilling, 
And there was an air of permanence, of course, to the structure when we drove away from there, but also the fulfillment of being part of this team. So there's a lot of ways that your gift to and through the church can reach a number of different uh, causes, all of which are worthy, and it does it in a cost-effective and efficient way. So we encourage you to think of that when you consider your giving, and we thank you in advance for your support.